Hello there, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor. Today I thought I'd take a look at putting basics. We've done some putting in other videos where I've uh, suggested some drills to do on, on how to improve your distance control, how to be fitted for a putter. Today I thought I'd talk a little bit about the basics of how to putt. So the first thing we need to do, we need to make sure that we have the right grip. So I use the reverse overlap grip. The reverse overlap is simply a normal golf grip with my thumb down the shaft and my pointer finger underneath. I take my left hand pointer finger and put it on the outside like that. That helps me that when I swing the putter, I have a stiff wristed swing. We don't want to be doing this type of movement because we lose control of the distance. We want distance control when we putt, so the reverse overlap helps. Anytime I start introducing a wristy type swing, I lose control because it's not my length of swing or my pace that's controlling the distance, it's another variable. So that helps. The second thing we need to do, we need to make sure that when I take my setup, my eyes are actually over the top of the golf ball, like so. If I had my eyes back inside the line here, it's very hard to take my putter straight back and through. Likewise, if I have my eyes too far over the ball. So eyes over the ball is good. This is more to do with the length of the putter that you're using than actually trying to straighten or bend your body. Uh, I've got my Mizuno MP A301 putter here. When I ordered it, I ordered it to 32 inches because that's the right length for me. Putting, uh, a lot of putting companies say that standard is 35. They might think that. When I fit people for putters, it usually comes in shorter than that. So I like to get my arms hanging pretty freely. Ball position is just slightly forward of center. And from that position there, I'm ready to control my putt. So my right thumb and my right pointer finger pulls the putter back and then pushes the putter through. And my length of swing is determining how far the ball goes. Let's see how I do. Okay, even though I've missed that putt, the ball was rolling end over end, so I'm not unhappy about that. You can't expect to make every putt from this distance. Uh, even on the US Tour, I think from, uh, from three feet, the average is 86%. This is about uh, 12, 14 feet, so it's gonna be around the 70% mark. So as long as when we miss, we have a, a putt that's pretty close to the hole. We'll see how we go on this one. Just hit that a little bit softer and the ball goes straight in the hole. That's how I do it. It's not always about holding the putt. It's making sure that when we miss it, we have a close one for our next putt. Thank you for letting me improve the health of your golf game. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor.